push hands 101, some basic push hands exercises. Basically, we're going to start um, to try to use the hip joints. So before you start with your partner, you can just try to bend the hip joints, turning the torso, and instead of pushing from one side to the next, extending the knees like that, think about bending one hip joint and then bending the other, and that turns the torso and shifts the weight. Okay, so you do this a few times just to kind of get warmed up, loosened up. Okay, rooted, sinking, turning, really only focused on the hip joints. Okay, now if we start with a partner, like so, we just do the one hand, and we'll do the same basic thing. Like this, not really moving the arms a whole lot, not really trying to push the other person, just moving with them. Okay? Yeah, not really sinking forward and back, right? Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, just focus on the hip joint. You can let the arm extend a little bit, following the other person if you want. Okay, just getting the idea of turning kind of out of the way of there, okay? Normally we don't push in this posture, but if you wanted to get a little bit closer, you could sort of play a little bit like this and just sort of play and kind of turn around whatever force you feel that they're giving you, okay? Okay, that's just get used, getting used to moving from the hip to all right, so now we'll try another exercise. Static. Okay, put the same foot. Okay, with one hand on the chest, one hand on the elbow. And again, same basic principle. We're not trying to extend the knees. Okay, we're not really trying to, you know, push with the arms here. Um, we're actually trying to use the arms very little, but we don't have to worry about being soft in this particular exercise. Don't worry, keep your hands as firmly against the other person as possible, and then just try to move again from the hip joint. So when you feel like they're pushing hard on your chest, you can bend into their back hip joint, neutralizing that force, okay? And they should fall over if you're timing. Same with the other side, they push into your elbow, right, you follow that push, okay? with your arm like that. So not a whole lot of elbow motion. And you don't have to worry about being soft, or doing any of this crazy stuff that gets more advanced. The main thing should be learn to move from the hip. Okay, so we can play a little bit. He pushes, good. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and just play and see how things go. Okay. Good. Okay. One thing about when you push somebody here, okay, you really want to try to push up so that their shoulder locks up and you can control their control their whole body just from that locked shoulder. Okay? Play like that. Yeah, be rooted. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Shouldn't take <laughs> shouldn't take much. Okay? Okay. I like this because this isn't a pattern, right? You're really playing. Okay, you're just playing in this very limited sort of field, okay? And often what I do is I sort of fake, right? As you probably feel, okay? And I'll push, I'll push a little bit one way just to test, just to see how he reacts. And then I change, okay? Rather quickly. He doesn't have time very to quickly. Do it. Very <laughs> quickly. Okay? Or if I'm lucky, he'll push me just the way I want him to push me, and I don't have to do this fake move. Okay? I can just kind of let him, okay, let him go. Okay. Yeah. So once again, once again, one more time. So when you push, you just push with the opposite hand that you're from the hip joint that you're bending. So I bend into the left hip joint. I'm going to be pushing with my right hand, slightly turning this way. Arm still square to the bottom. Okay. okay. And when I bend into the front hip joint, in this case the right hip joint, I'm going to be pushing with the left. Okay. Always keep the hands attached to the body. Don't do this kind of stuff yet. 
just work on structure and bending the knees. All right. All right, last one. This is your competition style push hands position. But here again, we just keep the hands attached. Okay. So now, as opposed to the last exercise, we get a little bit more freedom of motion in the shoulder. You can do different things, right? Often I like to push in, right? I feel his resistance and then I can take him the other way. Okay. Okay. Sometimes then you can just play. Yeah, sometimes he's resisting one way and I can come in kind of with the elbow. Okay. Good, good. Or often I come in with the elbow and he resists like that. And then I can change it up and do something else. Okay? <laughs> Okay. And you still have the shoulder move you can do. And you push in straight like that. I can drop here. Okay. Control like so. Okay. So it's fairly limited, but I think these exercises are better than teaching you patterns because that's you know rather complicated things to remember in your head. You know, what move comes next? These you can just sort of play, keep the hands where they are and play by moving your hip joints. Okay? Thanks very much. <laughs>